Today we're going to attempt to build a gym in The Sims 4, and I say attempt because I'm not the best when it comes to building community lots. You see, my strong suit with building in The Sims is like seeing pictures of real life houses and recreating them, or at least recreating things that are similar. But you can't really do that with like public areas, because in real life, gyms are oftentimes like giant concrete boxes. And you can't exactly build that in The Sims 4, it looks stupid. So I really have a hard time making them look realistic and not ugly, but I do like to build community lots because they're useful to have in your game. It's nice to have some more options of places to visit, and I've been slowly trying to build up lots for all of Newcrest using just the base game. Newcrest is that big empty world that comes in the base game, and I've been trying to make a lot of lots so that you could place them down and just fill it up instantly. I'm actually almost done, I can link some of the videos I've done down below on that, but today we are finally tackling the gym. You see, I've been putting off building the gym because the gym I think is probably gonna be the hardest one for me to do out of all of them. Like the houses in Newcrest I'm building, easy. I I can do that. I can build a house. The parks even, like that's fine. I made a pool, I made a museum, I made a library, like I built most of the things already, but I've been avoiding the gym and the bar that are gonna go next to each other over here because I just did not know how to build them. I think the main problem here is that I don't go to gyms and I don't go to bars. So when it comes to like building these things, obviously I've got no real life like comparison. Even if I did, the real life comparison wouldn't even be good because like they're kind of ugly in real life. There's not a lot of reference pictures that are good. I don't know. I just. I kind of struggle with building this kind of thing, so I've been avoiding it, but we finally tackled it yesterday on stream, and honestly, I think it looks really nice. So you'll see, I tried to make this build like a little bit more modern, which is different for me, I don't often do that, and also, because it's base game only, I kind of struggled with filling in the outside. Like, we were building this on stream, so I had a lot of suggestions from chat and stuff, and everybody kept being like, oh, put a basketball court, and I had to be like, sorry besties, we don't have city living, it's just a base game one. Because like, this would be a great spot to add in a basketball court, but obviously, like, I'm not not gonna put a non-base game item in this base game build. I didn't even have any packs installed with this one. But you know what? I don't think that it looks lacking in any way. Obviously it is only base game and anyone can download it if you have the base game, but I don't think that it it seems like it's a, a base game build. I think people sort of hear that and then associate it with being kind of boring or, or empty, but I don't think that this build has those vibes at all. It's actually huge on the inside as well. I managed to fit like two stories. There's like a big lofted second floor and the downstairs has like all of the weightlifting equipment and also the punching bags and then upstairs there's like a ton of treadmills. There's even an outside with like some kids play area space. I tried to include some things for the kids because I know that like oftentimes there's not a lot of spots for your kids to visit in this game so I was trying to like at least have some more options for them and I also wanted to leave some space in case you wanted to like switch it up and place things that you have. For example maybe you do have basketball and you want to add in a basketball outside or maybe instead of the punching bags in that one room you could put yoga mats. That was kind of my thought process is like leave this so it is fun functional and looks really good, but also could easily be changed and like swapped out if you so desired. There's also a spot downstairs where I put a fridge and like a little coffee maker, and in my head I thought you could replace that with vending machines if you happen to have vending machines in your game. If you have Snowy Escape, you've got a bunch, and if you've got Get to Work, you also have one. So I kind of thought like you could just swap that out if you so please. Also, the layout of this place kind of worked pretty well, like it sort of fell into place pretty nicely. You walk straight in on the side door, and that side door takes you right to like a little receptionist desk, and I wanted to keep this because I thought it was really realistic to have like a desk that someone who was working here you would check in or like pay or whatever. Obviously it's the same so you're not actually paying anything but I wanted to put a desk in and then I was like oh your sims are gonna be constantly trying to use this computer. That's a little bit annoying. What if I put a receptionist down? Like what if I placed someone there or like blocked it off so you couldn't get into it and what I ended up deciding on doing was putting a gnome at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I put a gnome there, and the gnome is the one who works at and owns the gym. So there's backstory, there's drama, his name is Gordon, he runs the place. I decided to name the lot, like, Gordon's Gym, and then I was like, ooh, what if we make it fancy and call it, like, Jim Gordon, you know? And then people in my chat said that was a person from Batman. I couldn't tell you if that was true or not, I've never seen them, I've never seen it. I'm extremely... Um, not skilled when it comes to movie references. It's it's sort of my downfall, it's my weakness, I don't know anything like that. So don't make fun of me, but uh, I did name the lot after Gordon the gnome, <laughs> not Gordon the movie character. So initially I wanted to have this lot have like a sort of pink and blue color scheme. You can see I've placed that sign outside, but then I was really struggling with finding something to put on that like front brick accent. I wanted to have another sign, but the base game is so lacking in signs and stuff like that, I really didn't know 
know what I wanted to use for it. I always encounter this problem when I'm trying to do base game community lots. It's like, we're not lacking in terms of items, like, to fill them up. We're just lacking in, like, signage and other, like, decorative objects that you might want to use to, like, expand the area to make it look a little bit nicer. But what I ended up doing was sizing up one of those posters. They're posters that are, like, prizes from the athlete career. And I ended up sizing one of them up and made it huge. So it looks like a big mural or, like, some sort of advertisement almost for the gym. It looks kind of like it's branded. I thought it was pretty cool. I've never done that before with anything in this game. But it's kind of interesting using, like, a poster as a, as a big sign on the front of the building. And it looks pretty cool sized up. And then I used those same posters inside a few times, like, just as decoration. Other interesting thing I did, you can see with the glass fencing, you might have noticed me doing that weird thing where I, like, deleted every other piece. And then I made it look like it's just one solid long glass panel instead of having the little, like, fence poles in between each piece. That is a very interesting pro tip that you can do. You can basically trick the game into not putting the little pillars if you place the fence on a room and then like fill them in that way. It's hard to explain without showing you in game, so at the end of the video I'll show you how I did it so that you can see a little bit easier. Stay tuned for that. Honestly, I was relying on my Twitch chat a lot when it came to like decor options for the inside. Here's the weird thing about building gyms, because you kind of have to balance like, one, what's realistic in a real life gym, but also what's realistic and useful in a Sims gym, because those things don't always match up. Like, in real life, people were like, oh my god, you shouldn't put towels down. Like, they wouldn't have communal towels. And then people were like, oh, well, some luxury gyms might have towels that you can use and they would wash for you. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here like, well, besties, we don't have a lot of options. <laughs> like, towels are probably one of the only, like, actual decorations we could put down from base game. Like, the list of clutter we have is very small. So I'm gonna put towels because, like, what else are you gonna put? Anyway, it's kind of funny trying to find that balance of, like, hmm, what works in real life and what works and is actually necessary in The Sims because those things really don't match up. One thing I love though is how those gym equipment pieces sort of like fit together in a circle. They have like those little arms on the back that sort of like make a circle. It just, it looks so cool. I was really pleased with them. And then upstairs there's a ton of treadmills. I put some TVs on one side and then just some windows on the other side. There should be enough equipment here that there is no issue with Sims like using them all. You know when you go to the library and you're trying to use the computer and there's just not enough computers and then Nancy Landgrab is sitting on one of them and you can't get her to leave so you can't use it. Hopefully there's no problem with that here because there's so many options. I think there's eight of everything. I mean there's just three punching bags but otherwise there's a lot of equipment in here. There's also three showers and two toilets. The bathrooms aren't that big considering how how many pieces of equipment there are but I don't think that three showers should be too little. I don't really find that the showers are full very often when I have my sims visit the gym so it should be okay. And if not like the showers, your sims don't shower for very long so hopefully the other people will get out of the bathroom fast enough for you to use it. It's nice though because there's three showers and one toilet upstairs and then there's another toilet but just just a toilet downstairs so if you only need to use the toilet you can use the one downstairs and I have to worry about like interrupting the showers and stuff so hopefully that works out and I thought that kind of made sense to have just like one bathroom downstairs and then everything else upstairs. There's also a bunch of lockers. I wish that you actually needed lockers in this game. The lockers don't serve any purpose like they just exist as, as decoration but like it, that's kind of some of our only decorations <laughs> are the lockers and the towels. I put like some plants places and stuff but otherwise it's like lockers, towels, and a couple of athlete posters. And that's all we've got. I did put like some sinks down. You'll see in this like little room with the punching bags, I put a sink, like a little counter with a sink. And then I think I put a cork board over it, but I figured the sink could be nice one to wash your hands because COVID, you know, but also to fill up your water bottles because you don't have like, you know, water bottles in the Sims, but in real life, it would be nice to have a spot to fill your water. People also in my chat kept asking like, oh, what if we put water fountains? And I had to be like, besties, there are no water fountains. <laughs> like this is the Sims 4, we don't have that. And then we got in this whole discussion about whether or not we want water fountains in The Sims. And here's my thought process. Here's my take on this. While it might be a nice, useful thing, it's kind of realistic to have water fountains. Think about how your Sims would behave though. Because you know how often they autonomously just get a glass of water and then set it down somewhere? There's just water glasses everywhere in your Sims house. And they don't even need it. Like they don't need to drink water. There's no, they, ha they don't have a thirst need. There's like no need for water. The only Sims that get thirsty are vampires vampires and they don't want water either. So if we had water fountains, just knowing how often Sims like try to autonomously drink water, they would drink from the water fountains way too much. It would be so annoying. And one other small detail that chat helped me with, uh, I totally didn't even think about this because I don't go to the gym, but they were like, oh my gosh, you should put some clocks around so people can time themselves. And I was like, that's perfect. That's really small, like an easy decoration to add in places. So I put a few clocks around. If you see me putting like an excessive amount of clocks, that's why, <laughs> because my 
chat was like, so you can time yourself. And again, it's a nice, simple, like easy, there's lots of base game clocks. Like that's kind of one of the only decorations we have. There were a lot of things from Spa Day that I wished I could have used in this build. I think Spa Day has a lot of like useful gym equipment that we could have put down. And then obviously the basketball court was a huge, like I wish I had one of those. But otherwise, I don't think that the gym is bad for being base game only. I think there's kind of like a negative connotation there. People are like, oh, it's just the base game. But really like the only reason it feels that way is because if you're used to having like a different kind of towel from Spa Day, you're like, oh darn, I can't use it. But the gym's not bad. This is a great functional space. I'm gonna bring my sims here all the time. This is just a place in that like 30 by 20 lot up in the top of Newcrest. I also built a park to go next door and I'm gonna build a bar to go next door. I haven't done it yet. But that's pretty much the whole build. I'm actually gonna pop into my game so I can show you up close. So this is that Newcrest save I've been working on. You can see I've built like most of the lots. We have four houses down here. We've got a public pool. I did a library. I did a museum. I actually posted videos of both of these things on YouTube already. I haven't posted this build yet, but I did make it recently. We have a park and there's gonna be, I think just two more houses down here. And then obviously the bar that I'm gonna put up here. And then I have to make Sims to fill it in. I've done a couple households of Sims, but I've not like finished it yet. And once it's done, I'm gonna just post the save file for you to download. But you can also get all of these lots individually off the gallery if you want them. You can go like filter by gyms on my gallery and you'll see it. All of these say like Newcrest house <laughs> or something, I'm not sure. But hopefully you can find them. This is where I place that gym. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's kind of cool. I love all the glass windows and stuff. On the outside, it's pretty simple. There's just like some benches. We have a trash can. I did put a gnome by the front door in honor of Gordon. Here's uh, Gordon on the inside. You can see his little hat behind the computer. And here's his friend. On the side of the build, I just put like some trees and some more seating. I put a couple of billboards down here. I thought it was kind of cute. I found these in debug. And then I tried to put some landscaping back behind the house. because I was trying to find a way to like buffer between the lot and then this person's home. Because these are just two starter homes back here. I didn't want to like have the lot seem like it was right up close. So I put some things to like help filter it. The back's pretty simple. I did, oh no, what's that? How did that place down there? Oh no. Anyway, the back's pretty simple. I put like a little pitting table and a grill. This was one that was controversial for my stream. They were like, why would there be a grill? Why would there be a table at the gym? To which I was like, I don't know, but it's your Sims that are coming here and they might need to eat something. So I put a grill and a table just in case. Listen, if you're playing rags to riches or something, you can sleep here on the bench. You can eat, you can have your kids do their homework here. You can shower. Like this has all the stuff you need for rags to riches pretty much. Actually inside the building, when you first walk in, we have that little like entrance reception area. Here's where you can pay Gordon. The main floor has a bunch of machines down here in the center. I kind of like how they look together in like alternating colors. I also put like a little trophy case. There's a big clock above it. We've got that little like coffee nook right here. Again, same thing. If you're playing rags to riches, if you need to eat. Also, you could like have your sim brew coffee to get energized. I never do that, but you could if you wanted to. Down here, there's those punching bags. This room could be great to like replace with yoga mats if you wanted to, but also this is super functional. We've got that sink so you can fill your water. <laughs> there's also some lockers underneath the stairs and a little tiny bathroom right here. Upstairs, we've got this kind of big loft space. We have some more lockers. These are the main bathrooms. So we've got three showers. One has a toilet with it. There's some towels. There's a trash can. You know, all the things you might need are in here. We've got a bunch of treadmills upstairs and some TVs. I wasn't sure about what to put here. I tried some benches. I tried some couches. They all kind of looked weird. I think this probably works the best though. And you can like, you know, set your equipment down or eat your applesauce that you got from the fridge downstairs. It, it makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> right? That's the whole gym. It's not huge. There's not a ton of space, but I think it's all space that's used pretty well. And hopefully you can get some use out of it with your Sims. Like even the toddlers can come. See, I've got toys for them. I tried to think of everything. Really quickly, I want to show you how I had it before to make the fences all look like one solid glass piece. So step one, you're going to want to make sure you put move objects on. This cheat is super useful. It's just going to make it so that things don't delete. You never know. You can't trust the game. And then you want to make sure that the fence you're trying to do this on is a room. So you can see right here, the game sees this whole fence as being one room. That's key. You can let it have the floor just for a second so you can figure it out. If the floor is gone, that's fine. Just click on it again and then click this little yellow part and then press build floor. That's going to help keep it a room. And then the next step is to delete every other one of the little fence pieces. This is kind of weird. My favorite way to do that, by the way, is to just grab the fence piece again and hold control. And then when you redraw over the fence, it deletes it when you're doing that. 
that. That tip, by the way, works on walls as well. If you hold control and you draw the wall again, it just deletes it. But you're gonna delete every other piece of this fence. And then you can click on this little replace fences tool here at the bottom. And when you replace the fence pieces in between them, it'll place it without the little panels. So it makes the thing look like one long solid piece of glass. Looks a lot better than it did with all the panel pieces there. The same thing will actually work inside. You can do it up here too. Same way, just delete every other piece of this glass and then you can go back and replace it and it's gonna make it look like all one solid piece. So there's my little pro tip for you today. Let me know if I should make like a short or a TikTok about that. I've been doing a lot of like shorts and TikToks with build tips in The Sims. So if you like those, let me know and I can make another one doing this. My name is just Lil Simsy on TikTok, by the way, and on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch and you know, everywhere. So feel free to follow me. And if you wanna download this lot, my name is just Lil Simsy on the gallery as well. Thank you for watching. If you like Sims builds, I post them like all the time. So feel free to subscribe. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. So many of the best build tricks in this game are just so hard to know about. There's so many cool things you can do and they don't make it obvious at all.